Today we're going to look at the flux core features of the Yes Welder DP200 machine. It's their new dual pulse MIG welder and flux core wire is one of the features. So I've got a roll of 0.035 or 0.9 wire in there. But let's turn the machine on here and I'll show you how I've got it set up. Hit the home button, take that center selector and come over to flux core press enter that will select flux core for you then I've got it on steel I've got uh, 035 diameter wire selected for 1 8 inch thick and I've got it set for 2T on the trigger it's the MIG mag torch I'm gonna just go with the standard settings it gives us right off the bat I've got some 8 inch it's not quite 8 inch but it's close We'll just run a couple of joints, T-joint, maybe a stringer bead and see how it does. Okay, let's get a couple tacks on here. Stop for a second there to adjust my uh, roller tension. That's about halfway. We'll continue and see what it does. You can see a little spot there in the middle where I started and stopped, but the weld looks good. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll flip it over and try to run another fillet right down in that T-joint there and yeah, we'll see what I can do with that. This is just using the Synergic settings on the new Yes Welder DP200 for flux core. 0.035 wire or 0.9 wire. We'll clean it with the wire wheel and we'll come back and check it out. It seems to weld with this uh, flux core real nice. Yeah, let me do another uh, fillet weld and uh, I'm going to turn it up with the manual adjustments. I'm going to crank that up and we'll just see what that does. So this is where we're at right now. Just zero. 173 inches per minute and it's showing 74 volts. So we'll just go to the max here with this on this right knob plus five so we'll try that and see what that gives us it was definitely hotter so it did increase it and uh, apparently according to the screen this time it was uh, increased five volts so there's a look at it before I clean it looks good so far let me get it cleaned up and I'll look at the machine we'll see what the settings gave us with the synergic settings. Actually, let's look at that right now. So it changed the amperage to 103 from, I think it was 74 or something like that, went up to 103, so it was definitely much hotter. And there's the plus five with the manual control here. Yeah, that came out real nice. At least it did in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. It was much hotter, good heat signature on the back. I'd be happy to have that on any project. And that's one thing that's real nice about this Yes Welder DP200 machine. It's got the synergic settings, but you can also change the settings if you're not happy with them, if you want to fine tune it. Because those are just kind of a general all purpose setting, not necessarily correct for every scenario. But yeah, that was real nice. I have no manual for this machine, so I'm just trial and error practicing and playing around with it. I think the newer model with the upgraded version of software has almost kind of a built-in manual, but this one does not have that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the video on the screen now if you like flux core welding. We've got another video you might enjoy, and we'll see you over there.